What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Battlefield 5. Today I got some news for you for kind of what we're going to look for within the month of May for the content update and kind of what they're going to do from now until kind of the 1st of June. Now the new map, which is Mercury, will be located in Greece. That will be released on May the 30th. And also there are going to be some new modes being released along with this kind of update or live service system that are doing within the month of may we're also going to get uh outpost and fortress now unfortunately fortress did not have a release date for it but out outpost did and that's going to be towards the first of june so you're looking between the first and 13th of june when this is going to be released dice said the 13th i'm kind of wondering if they will put it out a little bit sooner considering they're going to put out the new map and i would figure this new mode would probably be featured on this new map because outpost is going to be a a kind of build and defense style game mode you're going to be able to build radio towers and you will have to defend your radio tower as your team attacks the enemy's radio towers which does sound like kind of an interesting idea um you can all like i said you can't attack and defend them and it will kind of go to a last round it will have several different rounds where you uh, build and recruit that could kind of uh you know people to help you build these is kind of the premise of the game and then the last uh, round will kind of be Whichever team defeats the other first will win. So they said uh, being able to heal people. So having uh, medics there is going to be a big thing to revive people. Because I'm assuming it must be kind of a one life situation. Because once you're gone, you're gone. Is kind of how they worded it. But it sounds like an interesting mode. I don't know if it's something that I'm exactly going to enjoy that much. It doesn't exactly sound like my cup of tea. But the fortress mode sounds a little bit more interesting. Like I said, fortress mode does not have a release date for it yet. But it'll, it'll be kind of an idea of like Breakthrough was if you're a Breakthrough fan, but a little bit different. Uh, we'll have multiple flags in a certain area. One team attacks and one team defends, of course. But they said the sectors have a whole lot more fortifications. So it's more like a, you know, an enemy team attacking a, a defending team that is definitely just kind of hunkered down and has a lot of cover and a lot of surroundings that they can hide behind and pick off the attackers as they approach. This does sound a little bit better. It still may be a little too slow for my opinion or campy for me, but hopefully these modes will be interesting to some of the community as a whole because DICE really does like putting out new modes, it seems, over the past several Battlefield installments. Uh, of course, they will have new Elite Soldier skins. Uh, the price will be normal price. You know, the last two Elite skins we had came out and they were on sale for around 9 or 10 bucks uh, in the U.S., the new ones will be $15. Now, they are cosmetic. They're not anything that's going to give you an advantage while playing the game. But I still think 15 is a little too much. The main reason I think that is because most games, if I think of Fortnite, if I think of Star Wars Battlefront 2, any game that gives out skins that's in a third-person kind of aspect, you're playing in third person, I can see charging a bit more real money for those skins because you can see them. Battlefield 5, you're in first person. You cannot see the skin that you have equipped. Only other players can see them. So I feel that 15 bucks is a little too much. The 8 to $10 mark would be kind of the best place, in my opinion, for these to be priced in. But we'll see what happens as the game kind of progresses. Also, we'll have a new chapter reward system. The chapter reward system is broken, in my opinion. Now, it is cosmetic items, but it does take a little bit too long, especially for people who do not get to play a whole lot. They will have the option to, up to a certain point, you can buy the cosmetic items from the past chapter with uh, real money, of course. And it, it's not, once again, not a thing that's a game-changing thing, nothing that's going to give you an advantage. So if you want some of those cosmetic items, you can go buy them with real money. They were not that expensive. It was nothing like the Elite skins. But I still feel that the process of the whole chapter system needs to be reworked because I think that players that do not get to play a lot, players that don't get to play but maybe a couple days a week, maybe just on the weekend, do not have enough time to have the option to unlock these skins within game without having to pay for them. Also, some new weapons will be added to the game. There's some things that have been leaked. Not 100% sure what all of these weapons are going to be just yet, but when I find out, I will definitely bring that to you. But there's just a lot of info on, on, on the internet that has not been completely concrete confirmed yet so i will wait until it's com confirmed before i tell you what each individual weapon will be and also kind of my opinions on this whole thing i think the may update could be good for the game especially with a new map but i feel that dice has been focusing on adding more kind of modes like i said over the past several battlefield installments battlefield one battlefield five they seem like they wanted to add more modes in and i feel like the game needs less modes more maps and more weapons 
I think that is what always any game is really built on. The more content that you give, the better. Now, the skins and uh, cosmetic items are nice. Those are things that people really enjoy to, un to unlock or purchase. I understand that. And that does get people excited about playing that do play. But for a lot of players that have stopped playing, if you added more maps and more weapons in, I think you would gain some of those older players back that kind of stepped away from Battlefield Five for a bit. They're not really going to come back to play new modes. They will come back to see new maps, and they will come back to play with new weapons. I think DICE and EA need to start focusing on maps and weapons more than modes because I feel like the game kind of gets watered down with modes, and it, it, some of the modes hardly anybody plays at all anyway. Guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about some of this news for the May update. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.